And joining us now to talk more about these latest numbers and the ongoing crisis is Dr. Mark Tyndall. He's with the School of Population and Public Health at UBC. Dr. Tyndall, thanks very much for doing this tonight. First of all, I want to ask you, what, uh, what do you make of these, these latest uh, numbers? Well, it's unfortunate, not unexpected. You know, every every month is a. It's been about the same. Last year, um, we had a, a slight dip, but uh, really, um, every month it's around between 150 and 170 people die in this province of a uh, of a drug overdose. And the coroner says it's so far this year roughly f five people a day. I mean, we've addressed this before, but what what needs to be done? Well, we're really at the point where we need to offer people uh, an alternative to what they're buying right now. So we've known um, for six years now that uh, the drugs that people are purchasing on the street are uh, are very dangerous and unpredictable, and uh, this is what we get. And uh, you know, there's been a loud, a strengthening voice over the past. Uh, couple of years that we really need to offer people a safer alternative to these drugs. And that goes hand in hand with the talks around uh, decriminalization, uh, which is really behind the fact that people are hiding out and all this all this drug use is, is for the most part done in the shadows and, uh, and that's where people are dying. All right, now talk to us uh, a bit about the, uh, your MySafe uh, project. So this has been, uh, we had a pilot project started in December of 2019. So over a year now, we've had uh, uh, people coming to this machine uh, using biometrics and getting hydromorphone pills out of it. Um, fortunately, we just got a, a boost for this from a Health Canada grant a couple of weeks ago it was announced. So we have now money to support five of these machines. And uh, basically, it's just again addressing this directly giving people an alternative to buying drugs on the street where they they don't know what they are so it's a safe supply uh, project and the technology allows uh, a scalability so you could put these machines in various places and people would have access to uh, a safer opioid supply yeah i know we've talked about this before they're, they're kind of like vending machines for lack of a better term yeah, or ATMs. So uh, they're highly secure uh, lock boxes where people have their medications. Uh, people access them through uh, biometrics, so it's pretty airtight as far as who's getting them. Um, I keep quite close track in real time who's who's uh, accessing the drugs, um, and I see people and write prescriptions and follow them along. And uh, really, it just gives people some autonomy and control over. Uh, accessing these drugs and allows them to break the cycle of, uh, of what it takes to get these drugs. So getting up in the morning and feeling dope sick, um, instead of going hustling for uh, these drugs and scrambling, people can just come and get them from the machine. All right, we're going to leave it at that. We wish you success with the, uh, the MySafe project. Dr. Mark Tindall, thank okay. you so much for uh, joining us tonight. Thanks, Mike.